Hey guys, this is Mr. V, and this is episode number five of Apes uh, Review Unit number three. This video is about population growth and resource availability. Okay. So um, this is going to tie in some of those other topics we spoke to, we spoke about in the previous videos. But the idea is that populations are limited by their resources. So there's not going to be an unlimited amount of things that a population can get to um, when that comes to food water space we mentioned some of those previously and so the term we want to learn here is that resources are finite okay that means that they are only going to be available to a certain point right now some things may not may be infinite like sunlight um but you know some resources tend to run out um and most early populations when they grow they're going to do well because there's uh, seemingly an abundant uh, an abundance of resources but that may not be the case throughout the whole time because what will happen is the population will grow but the resources will stay the same so you know if there's if we're talking about an island then there's only going to be so many trees or so much grass to eat or uh, you know so much space to be able to lay eggs for your nest or something like that if you're a bird right so as the population grows if it grows too quickly then there is going to be consequences we mentioned some of those in the previous uh, videos but the idea here is going to be that the mortality is going to go up. So there's going to be more of the individuals dying. Um, there's going to be a decreased fecundity, right? Fecundity is a new word here, but that word means basically the, the number of babies that can be had, right? So um, that's going to decrease as the resources decrease as well. Because think about it, you know, a female will need to have certain um, input to be able to raise and lay an egg or, you know, to, you know, give milk or something to their offspring. So they're not going to have as much available if they don't have as much resources. And um, the decline is going to occur either at or just below carrying capacity. So we mentioned this in, in the previous video. We we're talking about overshoot and dieback. So right around carrying capacity is where it's going to go. So this is, you know, if this is the line for carrying capacity, and again, it's not a certain number that is known to a species. They don't know how much it's going to be. Um, but that is a number that at once it gets crossed, um, there will usually be the consequences that will bring it down, and that's the dieback. Um, and then it will come back up and then come back down. And then, of course, you would like your species to have more logistic growth, but that may not be the case. Um, logistic growth is going to be more along the lines of you, know, you grow you grow consistently and then eventually you flatten out and you hit that line before you hit that line you flatten out and that may not be the case um, so usually what you see in populations is this oscillation of populations so there may be at the beginning a very large space of overshoot okay if you look at that right there and then the dieback will happen and then the next time it happens it might happen again but the spaces will get smaller and smaller until eventually, you know, if the population's cut out and fit to survive, then eventually they'll likely be able to be around carrying capacity. So, um, but resources are the things that define this. So this is, think of this as like environmental pressures kind of pushing down on those uh, lines, getting them smaller and smaller each time. So there's some other resource to uh, help you and hopefully read up on that. And um, I hope that was helpful. Thank you.